and visible, it's very easy to use. The weapon does not require any sanding, nor does it require the use of cleaning fluids to prepare it for painting. Simply wipe away any excess dirt or oil on the weapon with a dry cloth. Tape any part of the weapon you may not want to paint. We recommend taping the tops of magazines to keep paint from chipping off and entering the internal mechanisms of the weapon. Insert the magazine into the weapon to determine the point at which tape should be applied. Make sure to cover the place where the magazine enters the weapon if the magazine is painted separately. We have also placed tape inside the flash suppressor at the end of the barrel so that paint will not enter the barrel and adversely affect the accuracy of the weapon. Additionally, you may want to tape over difficult to reach areas of the weapon so that removal will take less time. Invisible is safe for use on metal, ceramic, concrete, glass, sealed wood, as well as most plastics and rubber. Test in an inconspicuous area if you are uncertain of the paint's removability and the underlying surface's durability. Painting is best conducted outdoors in temperatures above 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. Shake the cans vigorously until the ball rattles. Hold the top of the can and swing in a circle so that the ball agitates any settled pigments. Shake up and down occasionally. Repeat this process for about a minute or until paint is thoroughly mixed. Shake before and during application of the paint. Ensure that your finger does not overlap the actuator. This will cause paint to build up on your finger and ultimately lead to large dollops of paint being deposited on the weapon. This leads to surface defects which create an uneven finish. Please be aware that some paint can build up on the actuator from time to time while spraying. Wipe away any paint buildup so that the force of the spray does not deposit the buildup on the weapon. This will create surface defects similar to misplacing your finger above the actuator. It is important to note that the can should be held 10 to 12 inches from the weapon when painting. This is very important. Spraying closer than 10 to 12 inches will result in the paint being too thick. Thick, uneven coats will cause the paint to crack as it dries. Finally, thick, uneven coats can adversely affect the coating's adhesion to the weapon. So, try to spray back and forth with a continuous movement to leave an even coat of paint. We recommend that our light tan or sand colors be used as the base coat for the entire weapon or equipment. Apply darker colors immediately thereafter to break up the base coat and to allow the colors to slightly blend together while still wet. Alternatively, you may allow the base coat to dry to the touch, then apply the darker colors. This will create less blended, more discrete sections of the camouflage. Invisible will dry to the touch in 8 to 10 minutes when applied outdoors. Indoor applications will dry in approximately 30 minutes. Dry times increase with higher humidity and decrease with lower humidity. Allow Invisible to dry for at least 12 hours before using the weapon. However, we recommend allowing the paint to set for a full 24 hours before use. Invisible will become more durable and abrasion resistant for several days and up to a week as the coating continues to cure and the particles of the coating organize themselves more efficiently. Ultimately, a thin, even coat will sufficiently camouflage the weapon and accessories while still enabling one to decipher any stamped engravings. Avoid spraying any grooves or recessions with too much paint. A thicker coating will take more time and effort to remove than a thin, even coat. It has been 10 minutes and the paint is now dry to the touch. Remove any tape after the paint has dried to the touch, but before it is dried completely. Removing tape after the paint has dried completely will cause the paint to chip. Note that the paint has not been removed from the barrel after firing. Invisible has been successfully removed after being exposed to operational temperatures in excess of 600 degrees Fahrenheit. We recommend that nitrile gloves be worn during the entire removal process. The remover is non-toxic and environmentally friendly, however, the remover does contain additives that help to penetrate the coating and also to inhibit corrosion of the weapon when it is exposed to water. Apply the remover using a cloth. Once applied, the remover should be allowed to penetrate the coating for approximately five minutes. The use of a brush can help to work in the remover faster. However, the idea is to let the remover do the work for you. A lot of scrubbing is not necessary to soften the coating. Invisible will not become permanent.
Remember, additional and or extended applications of the remover may be necessary for applications of paint that have been on the weapon for more than six months. Once the remover has penetrated the coating, the neutralized paint will readily accept water. The water will cause the coating to swell and release from the weapon. Apply the water with the brush or cloth and work into the coating. At this point the paint can be wiped away. A scraper set is recommended for detailed cleaning in hard to reach crevices. Finally, make sure that the remover is fully washed away with clean water. Do this prior to applying gun oil in the process of cleaning the weapon after removal of invisible. Residual remover on the weapon may adversely affect the performance of subsequent applications of paint.